AEW is live and we are kicking things off with the final of the Super X Cup. 16 men started this tournament in September and now only two remain. There you see the brackets. It is Mustafa Ali going one-on-one -on -one with Pac in the final. The winner of the tournament not only gets a trophy, they also get a shot at the X Division Championship currently held by Ricochet and the match is underway as Pac slaps Ali in the face. And Ali last week beat Grand Metalik two weeks ago. Pac beat Jushin Thunder Liger to get here as he gets Hurricane Ronald out the ring and now Ali with a moonsault to the outside. Ali with the jump on Pac as this matchup already kicked into fifth gear. And this is not the only match we'll see tonight. We've also got the Exhibition Champion Ricochet in action against Hiromu Takahashi. Plus, Chris Jericho will go one-on-one -on -one with the returning Pentagon Jr. in a grudge match. And also, we will find out who the new commissioner is here on NLW after Stone Cold was fired by Triple H last week. Who will be in charge and who will win the Super X Cup? Ali gets popped up into a drop kick. And now oh, on the shoulders, the Sao Power Bomb. In for the cover, but a kick up from Ali. Ali, just in nick of time, kicks out of it. And now Pack goes right after him. Look at the strength. With a deadlift German suplex to Ali. And Pack now going to the top rope. What is the plan? from the bastard oh no though Ali stops him in his tracks and now Ali springs to the top and a Spanish fly Spanish fly from the top rope Pat gets wiped out what an incredible opening contest already which one of these men is going to etch their name into history as the winner of the first ever NLW Super X Cup look at this again leaping to the top and delivering the Spanish fly. Ali, not going to be 100%, having competed last week. Pac has had some extra time to rest, but he catches the super kick and there's a kick of his own. And Ali on the apron of the Poison Rana. On the hardest part of the ring, Ali gets spiked. And that Poison Rana could have jammed the neck of Ali as Pac comes over the top with a Fosby flop. The corkscrew dive, the plancher wiping out Ali. And now what is Pac thinking? On the stage in the 450. Three big moves in a row and Pac is on fire. Pac with a 450. Wipes out Ali, crushing him. We'll take a look at this incredible series of manoeuvres. First of all, Poison Rana on the apron, then the dive, the corkscrew puncher over the top, and then finally this, the 450 splash to the floor. And now Ali clutching his ribs. They may be very much injured right now as Pac on the top rope. Shooting star press lands on his feet. And a poison spike Rana from Ali. And Mustafa Ali on the second rope, DDT. Pac did a handstand off of that DDT. And now Ali running to the top. Here it comes, 0-5-4, no! Coin to the Brutalizer. Pac has won every single tournament match with this move. It was the same move that he used to make Jushin von der Liger tap and Ali oh Ali with a roll up with a kick out Pat kicked out at the last minute and on the shoulders oh god a burning hammer burning hammer to Ali and now Pac sees us in control Pat gonna go to the top rope it's a thing of beauty, the black arrow, but knees are up. Knees are up from Ali, but a kick out. And Pag back to his feet. But a super kick turns him inside out. And now Ali 
on the top rope. Oh, five, four. And Ali wins the Super X Cup. Mustafa Ali is the number one contender for the X Division Championship. It started in September, and Ali, every step of the way, consistently putting out bangers of performances. And here, he has immortalized himself as we look at the replay of this incredible contest. The DDT and then the 054 into the Brutalizer, and then this Burning Hammer. There's a reason it's banned in many companies, and I'm sure that that move right there was the end for Pac. The super kick and then the 054, that inverted 450 splash, and Mustafa Ali being rewarded with a trophy, the medal, the ceremony here and Pac. I don't think I've ever seen him so subdued. But Ali is victorious. Pac gutted at this loss. But Mustafa Ali is the Super X Cup winner. Matt Hardy, I'm ashamed to share the same last name as you. While I ascended to the top, you have held me down for far too long. And that's why I did what I did last week. You don't get it, Matt. The Hardy boys are no more. I'm responsible for my own success and any problems or obstacles have been a result of your incompetence. I'm Mr. Money in the Bank. I have a guaranteed championship match anytime I want. Jeff Hardy is money. The Hardy boys are done. I don't answer to you anymore, Matt. I answer to a higher power. I am the Antichrist of professional wrestling and I'm the next NLW champion. What do you call what happened last week? I was going to beat Ray in the middle of the ring before you got involved. Hey, we're just trying to look out for you, Kofi. What, do you not appreciate us anymore? What happened to the power of positivity? Come to think of it, what did happen to the power of positivity, Xavier? You know, all you've done is been negative what we've done since losing the NLW Tag Team title as well. We got our asses handed to us by the APA, and then Walter destroyed you. I'm just trying to make it and do what I can, but you'll throw me off. Look, all I'm saying is, you guys handle the tag team stuff. Let me do my thing. I'll bring championship gold to the New Day. I just need some space, okay? It seems as though Kofi Kingston has had enough of the New Day for now. And that stems from last week where Rey Mysterio picked up the victory over Kofi Kingston. And this is a man who actually subbed in for Rey Mysterio a couple weeks ago. He is the ring general, Walter. And he actually defeated Xavier Woods in his NLW debut a couple weeks ago. And now tonight, in his second match, looking to get another victory here against Brian Kendrick. Although Kendrick is a veteran, so it's not going to be an easy task. But Walter, we saw his dominant performances last week when he was in his training facility. And there you see the German. And went for a clothesline. And Kendrick was sure, there it is. Big time chop to Brian Kendrick. And now Walter with a splash. And the sleeper applied onto Brian Kendrick. And Kendrick taps out immediately. And Walter makes short work of Brian Kendrick. An absolutely brutal performance from the ring general. Well, Walter crushes the competition yet again and the ring general looks unstoppable. FTR, last week you took over the APA office and ended up getting super kicked out of your seats by the tag champions, the Young Bucks. Now you have said a couple weeks ago that you were going to challenge them on your terms. The question I have for you is, what are those terms? Everyone wants to know Jimmy Hart. What are FTR going to challenge the Young Bucks? Well, now they seem to be getting cocky and we feel it's time to put them in their place. So boys, on the next NLW episode, let's do it. FTR versus the Young Bucks for the NLW Tag Team Championships. And boys, fear the revolution. Top guys, out. Chris Jericho, a legend in the sport of wrestling. You have truly crafted your legacy and will go down as one of the greats. And tonight, Jericho, Pentagon Jr. will make sure you go out on top when he beats you to a pulp.
Pentagon was the first to join my sacred ministry, and now he is back, he will make you squeal as he snaps your arm in two. The ministry grows stronger day by day, with our new enforcer of evil, the Duchess of Decay, Rosemary, and more are coming, and it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. I can break the will of even my own flesh and blood, and their will has been broken, and then his potential can be fully realized. Cero Miedo. Well, Penta, he's back in No Limits Wrestling. And he is looking to take out Chris Jericho. Well, in the ring, you see the ticking time bomb, Hiromu Takahashi. And he has been on a collision course with the X Division champion since January, where Takahashi made his debut. And last week, the challenge was made. Ricochet said, Fine, I'll face you, Hiromu, and if you beat me, I'll give you a shot at the title. Well, we are ready for this contest that we've been waiting for since January as the X Division champion Ricochet heads into battle, and you wonder what's going through his mind. Wait a minute! Sunset bomb over the top! Ricochet didn't see it coming. I was gonna say, Ricochet must have been watching the Super S Cup earlier! But right now, I don't think he expected this flurry already. Hiromu with a jumping center on off the top, wiping out the champion. And we know that the number one contender is Mustafa Ali after his win earlier tonight. However, Ricochet lands on his feet. If Hiromu wins this matchup, he'll be in line for a title match. And there's a German for the Poison Rana. Back to his feet off the ropes and a drop kick from Ricochet. Ricochet in his first match since beating Rey Mysterio at NLW Enter the Dragon looking for a springboard but a super kick in midair stops him and now a suplex into the Rana these two men are so quick and know each other so well but the belly to belly in the corner Ricochet hits the turnbuckles and Ricochet in trouble Hiromu waiting but the Spanish fly to Hiromu Takahashi, standing Spanish fly, and now Ricochet looks to go to the top rope. Ricochet up top, six face splash, but the knees are up. Hiromu had the knees up, and he caught out Her Ricochet, who's now in trouble, the time bomb. And Hiromu Takahashi has pinned the exhibition champion. Hiromu Takahashi doing what he said he would do and has defeated Ricochet. Call it an upset, call it whatever you want, but the fact remains with this win, Hiromu has earned an exhibition title opportunity. But the question now is you got Ali, you got Takahashi, who is next in line for a title match? Buddy, those guys you introduced me to last week creep me out a lot. Look, we go way back when we first got into this business. Are you sure those are the kind of people you want to be hanging around with? Hey, Tuts. Buddy Murphy is too good to be hanging around with someone like you anyway. And the Ministry is the most powerful force in this company. So who wouldn't want to join us? Murphy, who do you even hang around with this stupid chick? Don't you ever speak to her like that again. You're right. Well, I have to admit, I still don't quite understand the relationship between Bailey and Buddy Murphy. They do go back a long time, they broke into the business together. But still, with uh, Buddy Murphy's recent alliance with the Ministry, I wonder why he is so adamant for sticking up for Bailey. Well, we shall see what progresses with that. And you want to talk about the Ministry of Darkness? Up next. Jericho's going to go one-on-one -on -one with one of their henchmen, Pentagon Jr. And that is a result of what happened last week when Chris Jericho challenged The Undertaker to a match. The Undertaker rejected and instead said, you can face a hand-picked member of the Ministry. And that is what's going on here tonight. Jericho competing in this big-time fight but is he ready for the challenge that the man with zero fear is going to bring? We have no 
last seen Pentagon Jr. It's his money in the bank at WrestleMania. And he returned last week with one simple mission to take out Chris Jericho at the request of The Undertaker. And speaking of last week, let's take you now back to what happened. The lights went out when they came back on. The arm was wrenched back and Pentagon is now doing the bidding of The Undertaker once again. And you'll remember, about 18 months ago, Pentagon Jr. was actually the first man recruited to the Ministry of Darkness. And he's back working for The Undertaker here against Chris Jericho and this match is underway. Pentagon's first match back, it's his money in the bank and Chris Jericho, his first official match here on NLW since being drafted. There's the back elbow and misses the splash, another sling blade from Penta. And Pentagon, he's been in big matches before and tonight looking to get back on winning ways and he's going for the arm. But Jericho punches his way free and now the Lion Soul. Lion Soul hooks the outside leg but a kick out from Penta. And Pentagon Jr. He's had a lot of faith from The Undertaker and that's why the backdrop into the powerbomb. Chris Jericho, his spine driven and now the Insegiri. Go for the Judas effect but a super kick. And now that Penta driver. Gonna hit it maybe, no, roll through into the walls of Jericho. The walls of Jericho, can he lock it in? But Penta gets out of it. And now on the second rope, here it comes, Mexican Destroyer. The jumping pile driver. And this is the prelude to the armbar. Is he gonna break it? No, oh, but Kip's up to his feet. And the code breaker. And Chris Jericho picks up the win. That code breaker turned Pentagon Jr. inside out. And I know that The Undertaker's not going to be happy with that. But Chris Jericho gets by another obstacle from the Ministry and off. Oh, wait a minute, the lights are out. And there he is, The Undertaker. But Jericho this time had it scouted. He wasn't going to fall for it again. And Jericho making sure that he's not going to be attacked. Well, they're helping Pentagon up now as Rosemary helps him. And oh, wait a minute! The low blow, and what is this about? The Undertaker now punishing Pentagon for losing. And now he's choking him up, wait! It's Ray Phoenix! Penta's brother coming to his rescue! The Lucha Brothers are here on NLW! And it looks as if Pentagon Jr. has just told The Undertaker, screw you, I'm done with the ministry, and the Lucha Brothers, Phoenix and Penta, are here. Daniel, whatever you and Omega were talking about last week, forget about it. You're the world champion. You have no friends at all. All you have are enemies. I'm just telling you what you need to know. You need to know that anybody can take that title from you at any time. And I'm back for one reason, and that is to take that championship away from you. But I'm not going to feed you some BS about trying to have your back, because quite frankly, I don't care if you're 100% or not when I face you. You need to get Kenny Omega out of your head and get ready to fight me. Because unlike Kenny, I won't have any remorse and I take that championship from you. Just thought I'd give you the heads up. Uh, Triple H, we're scheduled to find out who the brand new commissioner is. Uh, where are you going? Who is it? I don't need to stick around because the new commissioner, trust me, they can handle themselves. I have vice presidential duties to attend to. All I'm going to say is the new NLW commissioner is about to walk through that curtain and this roster is going to fall in line. Fall in line? I wonder what Triple H means by that. 
And this is a very different Triple H from when he first came back. He is a lot more aggressive now. After firing... Firing this man! What is he... What is his music playing? And it is the Texas Rattlesnake himself, Stone Cold Steve Austin. But I'm not sure why he's out here. We're supposed to hear who the new commissioner of NLW is going to be. Well, Austin was fired by Triple H last week. What has he got to say now? Well, Triple H decided to leave before the new commissioner came out and addressed all of you here tonight. And I know that the Undisputed Era are not here tonight. Otherwise, I would have hunted them down and kicked their ass. However, being the respectful man that I am, I thought the new commissioner was owed a welcome by his predecessor. So hell, if this is my last night and I'm getting replaced, at least I want to look my successor in the eye and wish him luck. So come on out here, boy. Austin, he's asking for the new commissioner. But who is it? Well, it makes sense. After all, he's buddy-buddy with Triple H. Or at least he was. There's a rocky pass there. But Shawn Michaels, I cannot believe it. He is the new commissioner. Boy, oh boy, is it good to be back. The Heartbreak Kid is the new NLW commissioner. First of all, I want to thank my good friend Triple H for entrusting me with this position. And I guarantee I will do whatever it takes to make this show the number one show in the world. By signing the best talent, by booking the best matches and ensuring this show is in good hands. The second person I want to thank is you, Mr. Austin. I want to thank you for your contributions to the Office of Commissioner. Hey, sure, you messed up a lot. You put yourself in a bunch of matches you had no right being in. And what the hell, you nearly got this show cancelled. Uh, you know, but I'm grateful you're out here to thank me for saving the mess you made. Look, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding around. All right. Look, I believe you're still under contract, just not the commissioner anymore. So, Mr. Austin, I have sent you a brand new performer's contract. You are now an official wrestler on my show. And as of midnight tonight, when you no longer have power and I take charge, I am going to stop preparations for NLW's next exclusive pay-per-view. No, I'm not going to drone on and on. I just wanted to say thank you, Triple H. I'll make you proud, buddy. And Austin, just wanted to say, is there anything you want to say? Oh, wait a minute. What did you just say just then? Did you say as of midnight tonight, I will no longer have power? Which means that until midnight tonight, I do have power. So whatever I do, between now and midnight, you can't fire me. Austin, look, I know you've done some bad stuff and some stupid stuff, let's be honest, but no, I'm not going to fire you. As I said, I already sent you the contract anyway, so as soon as you sign it, we're good to go. Wow, thank you, Sean. I really appreciate that. And I look forward to working with you as of midnight. But until then, I think I'm going to book a little match for our next pay-per-view. you got plans, seeing as I am still the commissioner for a couple hours at least. At our next pay-per-view... It's going to be a no holds bar match. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Adam Cole. Oh my God! It's going to happen! And Sean, as of midnight tonight, I want to say, as my new boss, good luck running the show. And as the commissioner, for the next couple of hours, I say, oh, you can kiss my ass. Oh, look out! The stunner to Shawn Michaels! It's huge news! Not only is Stone Cold now a performer, he has just booked himself in a match for our next pay-per-view against Adam Cole. And it will be, no holds barred, a street fight. Shawn Michaels, he's barely been in the role for a couple of minutes, 
And already, he is at odds with the performers. What is Shawn Michaels going to do now that he is the commissioner?